Tonight, we are going to play the top half of the green bracket. That's right. It's going to be Eric ICX against, uh, I don't know what those funny uh, stick letters are. Oh, wait, that's Cody on Cody on uh, Corian is back and playing in Masters here at the 31 seed up against Eric ICX. Let us get this underway. Eric is ready. Corian is ready. I am ready. And 220 viewers on Twitch are ready. So let us count this down. Here we go. CTM Masters event, April 2022. I don't know why it's not on the screen, but we'll fix that in a bit. Three, two, one, Tetris. All right, Corian with the thumbs up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to figure out why this isn't here. I'm going to blame Pumpy somehow for this. Ah, uh, but it's Fandy's fault, actually. All right, we are underway. Corian with Tetris number two. Eric with Tetris number one. One row off the bottom. And good to see Corian back. The last time uh, Corian played was August of 2021, in Masters anyway. It's good to see Corian back. Corian, of course, our great uh, runner-up in the 2019 Classic Tetris World Champion and an 11-time winner of Classic Tetris Monthly. I don't know if that will ever be surpassed. Uh, Right now, the, uh, the there are two players that have five, I believe. So that would be uh, Joseph Saley and uh, Michael, dog playing Tetris, Ardiaga. And they each have five wins. So uh, there's still time, I guess, for them to catch or pass Corian maybe this year. But we'll see if Corian can uh, eke out a CTM Masters victory here. And what is now our biggest prize pool ever. 188 for Corian, 212 for Eric. Eric, of course, on the rolling play style. You can see Eric's uh, white rolling glove. In fact, we have a link to on Amazon to those very gloves. And you can purchase them through our Amazon link if you want to purchase those gloves. I mean, what? I mean, it's the gloves that a, a champion is winning. So, is wearing and winning with. So... You would, you would want those gloves. Eric with a little bit of cleaning up to do. Corian still super clean. 257 through 52 lines. Friday Witch says, Van Dweller, did you count all of my wins? Well, yeah, Friday Witch has zero wins. <laughs> zero. I mean, this is a huge matchup. This whole bracket, this whole half of the green bracket, four champions. Eric ICX, Corian, Tommy NTG, and Zafanya Nenu. And only one player will survive into the top eight this month. That's crazy. 291 for Eric, still uh, a bit dirty. Corian, 328, super clean. Tetris, 351 through 72. Uh, what time will it be for Nenu? I want to say like 8 in the morning. 9? Indonesia time. I don't know. Uh, nine. Yeah, so it's 9.30 now in Indonesia. So there you go. So good, so good times for our Asian players. And that's what's great about, uh, you know, ever since we went to this format where we play the brackets... Uh, you know, kind of different times and schedule them throughout the players. It's been a bit better for our Asian players 
Uh, and, you know, the European players have options as well. So it's been great. 4.43, Corian trying to burn through some of this. Opens the well. 4.46, 3.51, Eric. Eric going to get a Tetris bang. There it is. There's one for Corian. 4.69 through 97. Where's the bracket through this event? Just use the bracket command, and, or you can just type in ctm.gg slash masters, and it will take you to the landing page for this entire tournament and it's new you'll see the bracket on the website you'll see all the qualifying scores and all the other matches and it's pretty cool monthly tetris 2 rating us with a party of four. Oh my god wow they must have had a huge event over there on monthly tetris 2 thank you very much 517 cory on 425 eric icx Tetris Corian, he's got one already built up. He was too deep, and there's the other one. 563 through 116. Pretty good score for Corian. Corian, of course, tapping. Kind of the godfather of tapping. And inspired, uh, you know, Joseph. And uh, a whole scene sprang up out of this whole thing, so... Corian's role in what we have today cannot be understated. And of course, a great 11 time champion as well. 631 through 128, big pace Corian. And he's going to take a nice, safe burn with a well over. Uh, and there it is. Bank Tetris on 19 for Corian. He's at 657. Eric is at 524. Uh, oh no, Eric's left side a bit messed up. Is he going to be able to get things over? He is rolling. So he's got a lot of maneuverability, but this is up really high. That S over on the right side. And Eric's going to top out 526. Corian is good for heart number one. It's a shame to let this pace go to waste, but there it is, Corian. You have won heart number one. People want Corian to 1.3 right now. <laughs> I'm not going to tell Corian what to do. He can do whatever he wants. You want to go with no? He's like, whatever. I'm playing a tournament. <laughs> See, this is this is uh, that's how you you know you because someone's got confidence, right? He's like, yeah, I can get this pace again, no problem. It's a tournament, right? Great sportsmanship. Thank you, Corian. Although I would have loved to have seen a 1.3. <laughs> Uh, great. All right, Eric says ready. Corian says ready. Let's move on to game number two. Corian up one game to none. Three, two, one, Tetris. I mean, Corian's been away long enough that he could Tetris every, I mean, he could mull in every game. And uh, that would be more, uh, fewer mullins than some people. Fireworks loving the towel, the Sonic towel. I've tried to find that exact towel on eBay. I just can't find it. So I don't know where it came from. Somebody must know. Yeah, why isn't the Sonic Towel in an affiliate link true? I bet there's, I bet there's, you know, it came from a very specific place. You know, it must have, well, obviously everything came from a specific place. We don't want to get metaphysical here, but, <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's not probably not just something you just get nowadays. It's probably not available. It's probably vintage. All right, people doing sponsor quests so far. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. 31,000 here for Corian. 51,000 for Eric ICX. There we go. Corian trying to get his board. Uh, uh, put it to some semblance of order. And uh, all right, going to have to take a double down the right side. And game not really giving long bars. Pretty big drought for Corian. So he's just going to have to take these doubles. There it is, finally with the long bar and another one. Oh, he gets it over. I think he was screen looking right there and the game fed him a long bar, so he had to rip that over. 84,000 for Corian, 107 for Eric, who is one row off the bottom. And not a lot of great places for squares in the game, raining squares down on Eric. And it looks like he was setting up for that long bar flat, but then decided to do something else with that long bar. So 
Let's see what he's done. He's up kind of high, but bringing this down, and he's just going to forget it. I'm not going for this Tetris and whatever. I'm just going to play it safe and bring this stack down to safety. And pretty wise, already down a game. 118 for Eric. He's clean except for the one row off the bottom. Situation. 155 for Corian, and Eric's going to Tetris 143. All right, there's one Corian 177 and another one to 200. All right, people redeeming sponsor quests on Matcharino. If you're watching this on YouTube, you are uh, you are a part of this, and if you want to contribute to the prize pool, uh, look down, and it's still April, or maybe early part of May 2022 you can still contribute to the prize pool for this very event and just click the link in the description and you can contribute money or do sponsor quests and it all goes to help uh, all the money contributed except for you know the parts taken by Matcharino go to the competitors you get zero Corian kind of setting up some interesting tucks here, but he's got a spire down in the middle. I'm going to take that Tetris. That's great because you love a Tetris, but you also love bringing your stack down when you've got a spire. So aggressive stacking here from Corian since he's a little behind. Oh, nice uh, S spin. There we go. Tetris, bang, Corian, 322. Thanks for the resub, Laurie, 3443. Six months. Eric, 330 through 89 lines. So both players a little, you know, okay pace. Uh, not like the previous game. There we go. Eric, 354 now after a Tetris. Corian doing some burning up high on the board. Or medium high, anyway. And he'll throw a long bar down the right side just to get some material there. He's actually built up for a dirty. And there it is. And he's actually built up for... A column for Tetris, so nice little sequence for Corian, and he's not going to mess with that anymore. He's going to transfer uh, transfer all that business back to column ten where it belongs. Four hundred one for Corian after all that. Three eighty five for Eric. Eric ahead by four lines, and there's another Tetris for Eric. So into the score lead, but Corian uh, again back by seven lines. There is two in a row. For Corian. J Smell01 with the tier one sub. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. We are getting close to that 225, which will open up another emote slot for us. And that will be. Which one is that going to be? I forget which bear it's going to be, but it's going to be. I have a specific one in mind. The approval bear. Oh, thumbs up bear. Yes, we will put the thumbs up bear. Uh, into uh, our emote rotation. Yeah, it's like that. It's like, seems good. So yeah, if we get to 225 subscriber points, and that's a combination of, well, I don't know, tier two and tier three subs count a little more toward that. All right, Eric into 19, 513. He's going to Tetris now, 537. Corian, 545. So we are pretty neck and neck. Corian with a, a pace lead here. Corian set up again. Bank Tetris, 594, 564 for Eric. Eric set up Bank Tetris. So uh, aside from the nine lines that Eric is ahead, the scores are close. Corian still on 20. There it is. Bank Tetris. All right. A couple of uh, L or J dependencies there for Corian. Left side. No, he's going to clear it all the way. Good. Gets the long bar over to clear open the right side. It has to cover again. So a little bit tricky here for the tapper. And board getting a little bit scary here. And of course, orange, very RNG dependent. Corian gonna top out here 628. So Bort ended up getting away from him and uh, just never got the right sequence of pieces. Kind of put himself at the mercy of RNG there. Uh, kind of high centered. 
Eric is good, so Eric can top out. And just ended up not getting great sequence of pieces to burn all that away, and just ended up uh, running out of time and topping out. So there we go. It is game three, and what was once a best of five is now a best of three. Not really, but sort of. If you can use your imagination, do a little math, you'll see why I said that. There you go. Three, two, one, Tetris. Cobalt says, I think if you add a cheesecake to the prize pool, people will, pl uh, will play better. I love cheesecake. Thank you for the suggestion. All right, both players uh, perfect. No burn so far, but that's about to change. Uh, Corian with a big uh, spire, with a big wide spire, so kind of a mesa there in the middle of his stack. All right, getting the square here to fill all this in and bang Tetris for both. Corian 71,000, Eric 91,000. Yeah, everybody loving cheesecake. They all agree. Gerald Freeman loves it. Orak Sohailek loves it. Pumpy Heart says, I heckin' love cheesecake. Oh, King inviting people to get cheesecake with him. So all of a sudden, cheesecake has uh, taken over Twitch chat. It is good. I haven't had cheesecake in a long time. I've had cheese and I've had cake, but... 162 here for Eric. 140 for Corian. All right, there we go. Two long bars in a row for Corian. That was very nice to get that second long bar when he did. He was getting a little bit exasperated uh, with that burn, but two long bars will do him just fine. We have a new chatter. Van Sleesington says people who don't like cheesecake are psychos. Well, that's an epic first chat. Welcome to the channel. Corian ripping that T over to the left. All right, Tetris Corian to bring this down 219. Eric at 262. He's got a spire here. And uh, trying to build this with no gaps. The long bar would cap this off nicely, but no, the game's going to feed him some S's and Z's and other jaggedy pieces he can't really do much with, except tolerate. Man, his board... Uh, just try. Oh, he rips that piece over to the left. I love that. And he's getting this brung down. He's getting it brung down. 273 for Eric. Still digging. Corian clean and ready. Kind of building. I say Corian building. You know, skewing toward higher aggressive builds. Three thirty-seven, Corian. Two eighty-one for Eric. And really, Eric uh, building kind of high builds as well. You know, with the rolling, you generally you would expect you wouldn't have to do that. You can actually be a little less aggressive here on eighteen, play a little bit more safely because you have the opportunity to make up ground post twenty-nine. Not that it's assured, but usually you can be good. You know, be good for a Tetris or two, right? But Eric playing a little high and aggressive, but it's all right. Going to bring this down. 340 for him. 386 Corian. Tetris Corian for 10 through 96. 363 through the same number for Eric ICX.
Oh, dirty for Eric, 388. And Corian's going to get a non dirty one for 458. Oh man, people talking about their favorite Italian dishes, Alfredo, and meatballs, and shrimp scampi, and whatnot. <laughs> Miles the Great already writing the YouTube headline for us. Thank you so much. 443 for Eric, 468 for Corian. Corian ahead by about a Tetris. He's going to get another Tetris. Eric is set up for one and two now. And there is the second one. So pretty much tied at this point. Corian going to get one back. And Eric into 19 at a relatively low score, 480 some odd. Corian looking for one last one. But oh, the game piling up S's right in the middle of his stack just before the 19 transition. And he's gonna go aggro and actually build out the left instead of taking that long bar down the right side. Can't fault him for that, and he's got the skill, so why not? But it looks aggro nowadays. I think a lot of people are taking the taking the burns and just kind of living to, fighting to live another day or living to fight another day or whatever it is, the second one. <laughs> Tetris, Corey on 573, Eric 574 into 21. Oh, and, and they're dropping S's again, this game. And yeah, again, really lots of S's for Corian and just has them kind of just set up in the middle of his stack. And it's like when you put one, it's like a great spot for another one. So you get sort of hypnotized into just putting them there. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, kind of put them a little too high. <laughs> you know, you can't, it's really hard to maneuver around these. And that is the... The insidiousness of the S's and Z pieces is uh, each Z and S is a good place to put another one. 659 for Corian, 690 for Eric, and he's just been going, going, going. Well, Corian's been burning a bit, but Corian, yeah, I'm going to triple, bring some of this away. Tetris, Corian, 756. So in the lead and two lines ahead. So this is as neck and neck as you can get. Tetris for Eric. He's got a gap in the middle of his stack, though. He's going to burn that away. Corian, bang, Tetris. 3,000 points separated. Eric's going to Tetris. Corian's board. Oh, that's not a great piece for Corian's board at all, but he's going to just make it happen. Gets that L over to the left. Oh my God, this board from Corian is so jagged and so dependent, but he's making it happen. Oh, and he couldn't spin that piece over. That's going to put a gap there. And oh, he's not taking the burns. He's going to go for the Tetris and get it. And Corian trying to stay efficient. That is really like, uh, you know, for his tapping speed. I mean, that is sick from Corian. The courage to do what he did. Eric's board kind of getting out of control, uh, but he's got the rolling, so he can move things higher up on the board. 895, still the lead, Corian gonna top out at, at 893. All of a sudden, he was going so well, and then all of a sudden, he was just flirting with danger the entire time. Corian, and he just, oh my God. Just like that, I took a second to look over at Eric, Eric is good, so you can, you know, whatever, finish this out a little bit if you want. But, yeah, Corian was looking so great and super courageous builds, at, you know, aggressive because he knows what he's up against. And uh, and then it just kind of all, just one false move is what it takes on 19. I mean, he's so, I mean, he's such a huge brain and so courageous. Oh, people saying four squares in a row left. Hey, there's Dog watching Tetris in the chat. Thank you, Dog. <laughs> so Eric with the level 31 and the 991. All right, here we go. Game four. Eric up two games to one. Corian trying to force a D-sider 
You're in round one of the green bracket. Let's go. Three, two, one. Tetris. Tetris Crab is here saying Corian and Van Dweller are long lost brothers. I, I, uh, wouldn't that be nice? They're slowly morphing into one person. Oh, I can, I can see that. <laughs> oh, Naldar, Naldaramjo says, can anyone in chat read Corian's shirt and translate it? If somebody could really do that, that would be cool. Uh, I want to thank all of you who have been doing sponsor quests all in the, along the way. Mithra Bear and Zevi, Chiz105, Pumpy, Dog Watching Tetris, 321 Mr. Hats, Xena Wraith. And we had a $20 contribution from Scomando in addition to uh, the subscription. So thank you so much for that. And thanks to the rest of you doing sponsor quests, if I didn't read your name. Eric's at 121, now 144. How gross. 139 for Corian. Tetris Game Player 1 and Charles Bronson. Oh my god, the Charles Bronson. Thanks for the follows here on Twitch. Uh, Tetris Craft says, will I do this till I die? Um, I don't know, at some point... You know, we may have to we may have to go to that Tetris organizer place in the sky, but for now, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, we're doing stuff on YouTube, and we seem to be getting some results there and on Twitch, and we're getting big prize pools, and I don't know. So far, so good. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Pick up woodworking or something. Well, I am going back to poker, so there's that. 246 for Eric, 280 for Corian. <laughs> Tetris Crab says, oh no. <laughs> All right, 327 for Corian, 293 for Eric ICX. Halfway to transition. Corian with a big, high, flat board. Someone says his shirt says invincibility frames. So like eye frames, like in, uh, you know, video games when you are invincible, usually after you take damage, which makes total sense. I mean, video game logic, everyone, you know, in real life, it doesn't happen. 350 for Eric, 407 for Corian. Now 4.30. Tetris Corian, he's got a gap at the bottom of the stack, though, so we'll see what he wants to do. Oh, and the game just raining squares on him. You can see he is uh, bemused at the squares. Like exactly when I don't need these, here they come. All right, yeah, he's going to take the safe way out here. And just trying to burn out of all this. Eric's got an opportunity to take the lead. He's back by 40, I'm sorry, 38,000. So a Tetris and a half. There's one of the Tetrises and there's one of the others. Uh, so Eric into the lead. Oh, 
I like that there's a Twitch handle, Charles Bronson. <laughs> right, yeah. So everybody in chat, what's your favorite Charles Bronson movie? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's under the age of 15. They have no idea. <laughs> Death Wish, of course. Everybody loves Death Wish. Death Wish, uh, Death Wish 3. After Death, uh, Death Wish 3, they start to get bad. And then there's one that's sort of like Death Wish, which is, what is it called? 10 Minutes to Midnight or something? That's a good one. 545 for Eric ICX, 565 for Corian. Corian with a bit of a dependent board here, but getting a couple of nice pieces to fill this in. Going kind of aggro. And he does that. Very aggressive. 594 Corian, te uh, Tetris for Eric. Oh, Glider says Once Upon a Time in the West. Yes. Forgot. It's a great movie. All right. Eric's board. Very dependent here. Only rolling can save him now. It gets that piece over to the left, which is insane. It is literal insanity. And that's that long bar over to the left and the T over to the left and finally gets that long bar and another one for the triple to stay alive. So, I mean, crazy peace movements here from Eric and survival. And he's got another Tetris back down at the bottom of the board. Oh, Corian's board kind of breaking down, needs something to burn this away and can't get it built a little too high. Did not take the burn and Corian cannot believe it. Corian is in psychic pain right now and just can't believe how this went down and uh ggs to corian but it's gonna be eric moving on to round two and uh oh no oh my god i've never seen a person in so much pain corian we love you And, uh, Korean, 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 <laughs> Eric's still playing. There we go. <laughs> Bye, Corian. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams, Corian. Just do it. <laughs> All right, so right. I put our browser source in front of Eric's game. Every oh, just do it. <laughs> Who is that kid? Uh, that's one of our viewers' kids. Oh, do it! There it is. <laughs> Out of Tetris pieces. <laughs> do it! Just do it. Oh, wow. A big Tetris here for Eric A93. Into level 32. We'll watch. We'll see what happens. The world record or one time. is he? Yeah, he's current world record, right? It seems to change every day. <laughs> I know. We got we to gotta figure out. Uh, do it. Just do it. <laughs> Oh, Eric's board breaking down a bit, and that's probably going to do it for Eric. But, oh, he, want, he wanted him to do it. Just do it. Do it. Just do it. 
<laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. Hey, everybody, this is your old pal, Van Dweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.